When solving rational equations, the first thing you need to, get, to do is get the terms with the same denominator on one side of the equation. So our first equation is 3 minus 1 over n minus 4 equals 4 over n minus 4. So I'm going to get the 1 over n minus 4 on the other side by adding it to both sides. So we have 4 over n minus 4 plus 1 over n minus 4 on the right hand side. So that's just going to be 5 over n minus 4. Then the 1 over n minus 4 on the other side, they cancel out. So we now have 3 equals 5 over n minus 4. We need to get the 3, so it's also over n minus 4. First I'm going to write it over 1, so it's like a fraction. Then I'm going to times it by n minus 4 over n minus 4. So we're distributing the 3 into the parentheses. So we get 3n minus 12 over n minus 4 equals 5 over n minus 4. Once you have done this, once you've gotten both sides of the equation over the same denominator, you can just kind of bring the problem down and leave the denominators out. So we're going to bring down the 3n minus 12 on the left hand side and we're going to bring down the 5 on the right hand side. So we're going to get 3n minus 12 equals 5. This is just a linear equation that we just solved by getting n by itself. So first we're going to add 12 on both sides. So we get 3n equals 17. Then we're going to divide both sides by 3. So we get that n equals 17 over 3. When you're doing rational equations, you have to plug your answer back in to make sure it actually works. Um, sometimes you might get an answer that's what's called an excluded value. So if you were to plug it in, you would get a 0 in the denominator. But we're going to plug this in to double check and make sure it works. So if you look, I used the equation kind of in our second step, the 3 equals 5 over n minus 4 just because it's a little easier to simplify. So I'm going to plug 17 over 3 in for n. So I have 3 equals 5 over 17 thirds minus 4. The first thing we need to do is get that 4 so it is also over 3. So we're going to times it by 3 over 3. So we get 3 equals 5 over 17 over 3 minus 12 over 3. 17 minus 12 is 5. So we're going to get 3 equals 5 over 5 over 3. It looks kind of complicated, but basically what you're saying is 3 equals 5 divided by 5 thirds. So you can write it a little simpler like this. So there it is, 3 equals 5 divided by 5 thirds. And if you're dividing by a fraction, it's the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So that means 3 is going to equal 5 times 3 fifths, which if you actually multiply it out, the 5's cancel, and we get 3 equals 3. As long as you get a number equals itself at the end, then that answer is true, it works. So 17 over 3 is our answer. Looking at number 2, we need to get the 1 over x squared plus 3x on the other side. So we're going to add it to both sides. And 3 plus 1 is 4. So we have 4 over x squared plus 3x equals 1x. Because of that x squared and that denominator, we're probably going to have to factor it. So we're going to do that by taking out the greatest common factor of x. And that means the second fraction on the right-hand side is missing an x plus 3. So we're going to multiply the top and the bottom of that fraction by x plus 3. So the 4 over x times x plus 3 comes down, and then 1 times x plus 3 is just x plus 3, and then the denominator is now x times x plus 3. We have the same denominator on both sides of the equation, so we're going to take the denominators out, so we get 4 equals x plus 3. We're going to subtract 3 from both sides, so we get x equals 1. We still have to plug it in to make sure it works. So I am going to use the second equation again, which was 4 over x squared plus 3x equals 1 over x. So I plug 1 in for x, kind of simplified it, 1 squared is 1, 3 times 1 is 3, and then on the right hand side 1 over 1 is just 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, and 4 over 4 is 1, so that means this answer does work.